Today we're pouring precast concrete countertops with the easiest concrete mix we have ever used. Precast concrete countertops are actually poured upside down. So the material that we use to form with is important because it needs to be really smooth because that's gonna be the surface of the countertop. Once we build the forms, we're gonna caulk all of the seams to make sure that our forms are watertight. Now that we're ready to pour the countertop, we're gonna measure out all of our fiber mesh so that we can add this to the concrete mix as we're pouring it. We're using a concrete countertop mix from Concrete Countertop Solutions. We're using this for the first time today and we're gonna mix two bags at a time. So we add seven quarts of water for those two bags We're going to add one bag of pigment so that we end up with a medium gray shade of concrete. And then we're going to mix it in our Colmix XM2. I loved working with this concrete mix. I think this is the first time we've poured a countertop where we didn't have to measure anything other than water. If you watch any of our other countertop videos, you'll usually see us measure in Portland cement and sand and polymer and admixtures and pigment. And then even with all that, we usually end up adding more admixes to the concrete to make it more flowable. But this mix eliminates all of that. You add three and a half quarts of water per bag and once you mix it, it's ready to go. Once we fill the forms about halfway up, we're gonna add our fiberglass mesh for reinforcement. We let the countertops yeah. cure for a couple of days and then we're gonna come back and strip the forms and then work on processing the concrete. Straight up? Yeah. Kind of up and out. You ready to open it? I like to run a diamond grinder over the surface of the concrete to grind the texture of the melamine off of the concrete. We're just using a 100 grit resin pad here. And then you can see that the surface has just a, a very few little pinholes here and there. So we're gonna mix up a slurry and we're gonna trial that across the whole surface of the concrete. And that's gonna fill any little pinholes or anything like that and then we'll come back the next day and polish it one more time and then it'll be ready to seal.
Once the countertops are clean, we're ready to apply sealer. And today we're going to be using Cyacryl 14 from Concrete Countertop Solutions. Really like this product too because the application is just so simple. You don't have to dilute the sealer or mix anything. You just get a microfiber rag wet with the sealer and wipe it across the entire surface. I think we applied about four coats yeah. and then we let it dry overnight and then the countertops are ready to be installed in the kitchen. Last year I made two different videos that show you how we do traditional GFRC concrete countertops and also how we do cast in place concrete countertops. So be sure to check those out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.